Hey guys, welcome to tonight's Big Brother 21 chat. It's episode 28. <laughs> and that brings us one step closer to the finale. <laughs> Last time, Holly nominated Nick. And that's it. She could only pick one nominee this week because it's prank week. So America, you picked your prankster as Nick. What? It's like when <laughs> on uh, American Idol when they voted for Sanjaya to mm -hmm. stay. Mm -hmm. It's a real prank. It's a real double prank. Is Howard Stern watching Big Brother? So Nick nominated Christy. Mm -hmm. BB pranked us with a little snippet at the beginning after the recap. I thought that was cute. Big Brother Twenty people. I was like, whoa, that looks like Haley. JC. Oh, and my favorite little JC. JC talking about fattening people up. <laughs> when you interviewed JC, it gave me life. Really? I thought he was adorable. <laughs> Loved it. All right. Well, anyway. Um, yeah, I thought it was fun to see uh, memories from a fun, good, nice season. Yeah. Not a dirty, <laughs> scummy season like this one. All right. Well, anyway. Um, they did also have it's the regular shit show. 21 little boop moment with the pie in Christy's face. It was pretty funny. It was pretty funny. Pretty funny. Wake up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Jackson and Holly are being disgusting in the HOH room and they know that Jackson's got to get picked by Holly and he's got to win the veto and he's got to not use it. Yeah, because in any other week, like he said, with Holly as HOH, he would be safe, but right. This is prank week, so if whoever if Christy if, comes down, yeah, if Christy comes down, the prankster is gonna put somebody else up, and it could be Jackson. Could be. So he's like, I gotta win this veto. Yes. So everybody's laying around like a bunch of beached whales, and Nick <laughs> lies to Christy and says, "Oh, uh, uh, I hope you uh, do well and uh, win the veto and take yourself down." Listen, Nick. <laughs> We're not buying your bullshit. Um, Christy, is Christy. Christy claims that she had a feeling that he was the prankster, but I don't know when that DR was filmed. <laughs> was it after she found out that it he might was have the been? It might have been. Um, because I don't know that she thought it was Nick. I don't know. But anyway, they were sitting around being like, "Oh, I'm so sorry that you're next to me, and I'm so sorry that you're next to me. Oh, how terrible." Oh, I hope you <laughs> don't make it. All right. Well, anyway. All right. So the punishment's going on this week with Cliff, Jessica, and Nicole. I gotta say, it's it's been a lot of fun to watch. It's fun. I feel bad for them with the cleanup because I feel like that's been disgusting. But rotten milk. Yeah. Sticky rotten milk. The pie wars. With sugar in the whipped cream and. The pie wars have been one of the highlights of the week. Don't they have enough problems with ants? Now they're probably going to have rats too. They already have a ton of rats. What are you talking about? Oh! All right. <laughs> so they got the call. Everybody's getting the pie to the face. So Woo! make them make up. Yeah. Wait. Nick's in the DR room. That was hilarious. Oh, uh, don't don't let me come out of the DR room so I don't have to get them high in the face. Yeah, that was pretty funny. Um, it's Nicole's revenge. Nicole getting Jackson was pretty funny mm -hmm. and amazing. <laughs> I think Jessica. Did a self pie to the face. There were uh, there have been plenty of self pies. This no, week. but I mean during that one where they had to do everybody. Yeah. You know what? I'd probably rather have, have it, to, yeah in, yeah be in control of your own pie destiny. in the face. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you get quizzed in the face. Yeah. You you want to know the answer? This was a lot of fun, but this is only the tip of the iceberg because they have had multiple pie wars that have spanned <laughs> hours at a time. Oh my god. Just like running around trying to get each other. People who are not even being punished this week, they're not part of it. They're so making up is... their own pies and getting oh, people. Oh, okay. Okay. It's been fun. That's disgusting and what a waste of food. I know, but... <sighs> well, at least it's not talcum powder, so they're all not getting like lung cancer from the talcum powder. <sighs> Remember yeah. that? Yeah. 
Remember okay. how bad that season was? No, what are you talking about? I don't remember. Yeah. What season? Uh, are you shitting me? She was famous oh, for the freaking talcum they were powder. around all that shit. Oh, yeah, okay. They always had their food fights. Yeah. Yeah, but then they had talcum powder. That is like cancer causing. Don't you see the commercials on late night TV, late night pop TV? Yeah, those food fights were really annoying. All right. Well, it's time to pick players for the veto. Somebody gacked the box. Was it Jackson? Ew! No, it was green. <laughs> okay. So anyway, yeah. Oh, Frank reaches Lee's... in and said, ew, Jackson. Gross. <laughs> oh. um, this is familiar. So going into this veto pick... Mm -hmm. Nick is like, ooh, I want Tommy to play, and I want Nicole to play, because those are his two buds, mm -hmm. and he's hoping that one of them would be willing to use the veto on him. Right. Okay. So, Holly picks first, and she gets house guest choice. Oh my god, who's she gonna pay it? Oh, <laughs> Jackson. No, Mickey. Who's Mickey? No, Jackson. No, Mickey. Pompous douchebag. Okay. Really? We're not there yet. I know. All right. We've been there for months. Nick picks next. And he picks Big Busted Cliff. <laughs> and Nick is just like, oh, it's Cliff. Yeah, Cliff. Great. <laughs> not on his list of people that he wants to play. No. And then Christy gets Jessica. She was hoping for Tommy, but what do you think Tommy would have done with a veto? He would have been in a real situation. I think he probably would have had to leave it the same. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. I think he would have left it the same. Yeah. Um, That would have been wild. So, yeah, Nick is like, oh, no, none of my friends are playing. That really was, like, the worst possible yeah, draw from him. it was. Ugh. Well, Christy is all concerned about Nick the Swindler. What if he wins the veto? I'm screwed. Uh, they didn't really have a clear answer for her. No. Oops. No, well, she was talking to uh, Holly and Jackson. That's uh, what I'm saying. Jackson, yeah. So, Christy thinks she's off the hook. She's fulfilled her contract with uh, Mickey and Holly about being the pawn. Which is hilarious because last week when she was campaigning, she was like, Oh, I'm totally fine with doing whatever you want for as long as I'm here. And, like, I'll go out fifth. It's fine. And, like, just keep me. I'll do whatever. Use me. But she's, like, acting now. Like, free woman. Like, she's going to be free after this week because she went up as a pawn to help get rid of Nick. But Holly didn't put her up as a pawn. Yeah. Nick put her up as a pawn. <laughs> or not a pawn. No. He's, he's thinking that he's going to be able to get the votes against her. Right. So, Jackson and Holly are like, uh, what the F? We, we, might, we made a mistake. You're supposed to be our bitch. Yeah. Well, let's take a break from the game for a minute. Not really. And guess who's here? Zingbot. Zingbot! Yay! Zing, 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 zing. Yay! All right, so, Zingbot came in and set the tone immediately and said... Hey, you effing losers. Hell but yeah. He didn't say effing. He said the real thing. And they even had to bleep out his little mouth that doesn't move. Yeah. I loved that time that Kathy Griffin came in. That was great. That was hilarious. I wish Kathy Griffin was doing these zings because they sucked. I thought they were a little bit weak for the most part. A little bit weak? For the most part. I feel like the things that they could have really roasted them on... They couldn't do it because they haven't been showing that on the yeah. show because everything that they would have talked about would have been offensive and... Everything is awesome! Yeah. <laughs> like... Uh, we... That's what they think this se That's what they are trying to feed you this season. Everything is awesome! Right? There are no things Everything you is cool when you're on BB. <laughs> yeah. No, it's a dis it's an STD in there. I mean, can it's you imagine? A, it's a living, breathing STD in there. Can you imagine what Zingbot could have said about Nick? Or really could have said about Jackson? Mm-hmm. Um, but he didn't because... Or Holly laying there like a piece of meat. Oh, no! They oh, my God! Nobody knows the horrors I've seen! <laughs> ah! Okay, but anyway, so yeah, they had to keep the zings PG. G. All right, so... Is douchebag 
and horror G. I, I'd give it a, society, I'd yeah. give it a PG if I was All working right. for the uh, well, rating whatever, whoever rates things. All right, so there was a big setup for most of them. We're not going to talk about that. We're just going to go right to the thing. Okay. Tommy's up first. He's a little shop of attention whore. Ah! I thought that was pretty funny. Because he's on Broadway. <laughs> it's not because he's on Broadway. It's because he's, woo, yeah. me. But they had to pick a Broadway musical because he's yeah. on Broadway. Right. Um, I thought it was pretty funny. Yeah. And then he went in the um, DR in his underwear and did the split. Damn, that straddle split. But he covered up his wiener so they wouldn't have to bleep it out. <laughs> okay. Next and up. Then they tried to fake Nicole out by saying, I know you're afraid of birds, but <laughs> you've been in the house all season. With an old buzzard. And everybody was like, oh, it's Cliff. And then Zingbot was like, Holly. No, Holly was like, oh, Cliff. Yeah. And then me? Uh, but there was like so much drama surrounding the Zing this week because then apparently BB was going to frame it differently. Oh, really? Because like apparently a buzzard is a, like a one of those birds that preys on like sloppy seconds. Oh! So do the math. Jackson and Cat get rid of Cat, bring in Holly. Yeah. But when Holly heard friends. about that, yeah, <laughs> when Holly heard about that, she had a freaking meltdown and she was like, oh. I'm gonna self evict. This isn't right. This is attacking my character and blah, blah, blah. So I think after talking to her in the diary room, they're like, you know what? <laughs> just We're just gonna go with the first angle of Holly being old. Yeah. <laughs> She's 31. She's not old, but. Is she 31? Was Neely 31? <laughs> Was she now? Oh, shit. Yeah, so um, they went with the Mrs. Robinson angle. Okay. Christy and her man of feasting. Yeah. Weak. Also, well, what bothered me more was, like, the canned reactions that they had everybody do in the diary room, which is another thing that the house guests were complaining about this week. Yeah. How BB was, like, forcing them to say certain things, and they were like, I don't want to do that, which they do all the time. Yeah. But they were talking about it a lot this week. Mm -hmm. And, like, making Christy bring food into the diary room. Yeah. All right. Well, one of my favorites was Zingbot's present for Nick. He said... Wait, I gotta go get a box. It's for one of you guys. Mm -hmm. He didn't say it like that. <laughs> and he brought a box and gave it to Nick. And there was a big old bowl inside ah! for Nick's head. Because he had the baby bangs. Baby bangs! <laughs> okay, so Nick is one of the ones I feel like they could have really had a field day with. Oh, yeah. But I thought the hair thing was pretty funny. But they could have... Oh, my God. There's so much they could have done. Ah! So much. All right. They should have told him that Bella might have dumped him. <laughs> That'd be funny. This was the saddest one, Nicole's. You're right at home here in the Big Brother house with no friends, boyfriend, or contact with the outside world. Oh, I thought she really handled it well, though. She knows, she has self-awareness. She knows that she doesn't have a lot of friends on the outside, but she's like, I made so many friends here, blah, blah, blah. But they said that she didn't have any here either. Yeah, but she knows it's not true. I'm sure she was crying. You know when, like, you say that you... Oh, I'm fine. Yeah, exactly. The, the thing, you're crying on the inside, but you don't want everyone to know you're crying. Yeah. Out. <laughs> I'm fine, but I'm not. I think she was okay. I don't know. I think she spends a few nights crying on that big pillow. Mm. All right, Cliff. He's got voluptuous boobs. This was another fake out. They were trying to set it up like it was going to be Jess. Which would have been ridiculously sexist and like... I still thought it was like, mm, like a body comment like that. Cliff uh, took it well. I thought it was, again, weak. I thought they could have done something else. They could have done way more with Cliff. Yeah. Like him and his ridiculous shout outs all the time to like, what a burger. <laughs> yeah, but they don't know that. They're not going to expose somebody like that. Oh. How, right. They can't tell everyone how much he loves Whataburger. <laughs> could compromise the game. Yeah, I guess. All right. Couldn't they have talked about him like going around with Orwell or something? I don't know. 
something like that. I don't know. Jessica, up next. Your game's a snooze fest, basically. You haven't done I mean, shite. It's crazy because she took out such a big and annoying player, but... But that was it. Other than that, she's been like lost in space and confused and... <laughs> She's at the BB uh, bed and breakfast, spending the summer. Summer camp. Yeah. All right, Jackson. Well, it is summer camp this year. That's what I'm saying. Jackson, you are a pompous douchebag. Ah! Okay, so I like... I went with douche canoe. Yeah. You do know the definition of douche canoe. It's more douche than your hands can hold. Oh, is that what it is? canoe full of it. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, I thought that was pretty good. Um, again, Jackson's one of the ones where there's just so much material to pull from. But Between the watermelons and... Yeah, but I think the watermelons would have been too like, ooh, how cute is this? You know? He really likes watermelon. I thought Zingbot said chestnut checker zing. So did a lot of the house guests, which is really but funny. But it was actually chestnut checkers. Right. Zing. Right. Za, 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 zing. Yeah, there was a funny moment this week, too. Nicole got Jackson in the face with a pie one time, and she went, Chestnut checkers! Woo! <laughs> nice. Yeah. So then, Zingbot, uh, he's on the run. He is. He's supposedly the president. They're keeping up the whole um, election, president, collusion thing. Um, so now he's in jail. If only. And he was dragged off by the grandma slash alien guy. Woo! Brett's friend. Love it. And uh, Jack's friend, too, as the alien. He's over here somewhere. Al the alien. <laughs> you watch the puppet show, you know what we're talking about. Yeah. He slipped on the way in. That was a highlight of the entire that episode. That was epic. I'm glad that they left that in and didn't, like, redo it. Yeah. And that was funny. It was fun. And funny. So, it's time to play the POV comp. Okay. It's the old Frankie Grande. I was going to say. <laughs> vertical maze. This competition, every time they do it, I think of Caleb and Frankie. Yep. I'm not playing. And Frankie, when he wins, being like. Ah! 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 <laughs> yeah. So, it's a vertical maze. You got to get your ball in 27 holes to knock out the cameras. Mm-hmm. And there's uh, hazard holes as well. Oh, no! That means nothing. Well, it slows you down because then you got to start over from the bottom. Now Started you're at the bottom, yeah. then you're there. you got to break Zingbot out of jail. Whoever wins the veto does that. So maybe you don't want to do that, though. Maybe you want to say you should stay in jail mm -hmm. for crimes against humanity. Yeah, right? All right, so it's called Free the Zing. <laughs> okay. So you could either start at the bottom or the top or I mean, anywhere. You can start between. anywhere you want, but like it's the, a strategy. The main strategies were, ooh, am I gonna start low or high? So well, Nick started low. Mickey started high, and it came down to Nick versus Mickey oh in the God. in the end part of the competition. Mm -hmm. It was a real Holly sandwich. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> Jackson won the veto because it's smart to start at the top. Yeah. Because you get that length out of the way right away, mm -hmm. and then you only got the little PGs to do. And if you mess up on the way up, you're still, you got a chance to hit something coming down. Right. Right. So, Jackson won. Nick went into the boat lounge, collapsed with his legs uh, spread open so that Ready everyone could come in. To be and touched. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody came in and was just ready to like, Yeah. <laughs> So Jackson uh, is talking to Nick, and Nick's like, you didn't have to win it, man. I wasn't going to put you up. What? And Jackson's like, da 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 You're the, what? <laughs> put me up? You're not the H O. Oh, you're the prankster. I mean, they left out. Nick was like, I'm a prankster. Yeah. <laughs> yep. It wasn't this, like, Sherlock Holmes moment. No. Um, he had his uh, Sopranos, the way to show loyalty uh, to people is when they're not looking. Yeah. Never heard that. Uh, guess what? That might be true in the real world, but not in the Big Brother house. No. <laughs> you need to be like, look what I'm doing for you. Yeah. I'm so loyal. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So... Jackson tells Christy he's not using the veto. He says, this is Holly's HOH, and she wants Nick out. I gotta get him out. I'm gonna do that. 
I'm not going to take the chance that this old buzzer, this old <laughs> buzzard is going to get uh, come after. And then what am I going to do? Bark, bark, bark. I'm going to have to cut the hole in the watermelon. No! <laughs> um, so he's telling Christy, like, you're fine. You're going to say you're a pawn. Yeah. Nick is gone. Yeah. It's all good. So Nick, in his primitive campaigning, tells Tommy that he's the prankster. Mm-hmm. And uh, now you and Nicole and Cliff give me your votes so that I can stay. His whole thing is he put Christy up on the block because, well, he knew he was going to have Nicole as a vote because they're close. Right. Or at least he's thinking there. He he's is. strung her along. Right. But she actually is very loyal to him and it's like very disheartening. It is very disheartening. But anyway, um, that aside, Nick thinks, okay, Tommy told me that if... Christy and I were ever on the block against each other, he would keep me over her. And then, he also said that Cliff told him that Christy was his target. So right. he was like, okay, well if I put up Christy, then I'm also going to have Tommy and Cliff's votes. Mm -hmm. So that's three votes, that's all I need to say. So that's why he did that. So that's going to be a huge part yeah, of his campaign. A huge letdown. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, it's time for the POV ceremony. And it's three pies to the face of Mickey. <laughs> Make three pies. Yeah. So you guys may have noticed that um, he swatted away mm -hmm. Nicole's pie at the end. Nicole and Jackson have been having a lot of fun with each other, bonding this week, trying to get each other with pies. Mm -hmm. So that's just like something that they've been doing. Yeah. I think this pie punishment has really brought out Nicole's personality more. Yeah. And um, I think a lot it's of too people... too late though. <laughs> well, I mean America's favorite... Oh, yeah. Kind of thing, you know? But they didn't show a lot of it on the show. That might have been more on the feeds. Yeah, but I so have a the feeling casuals. there's something coming up on tomorrow's show that's going to make a lot of people really like Nicole. Okay. From a personality standpoint. All right. Well, Mickey doesn't use the veto. No. So that means that Nick and Christy remain on the block. Oh, my God. Who's going home on Big Brother tomorrow? Yeah. Um, if you've got, uh, football problems, make sure you find an alternative site to yeah. watch, uh, the show. Otherwise, you're gonna have to wait till, like, 2 in the morning. Don't miss out because of football. <laughs> Alright, so let us know what you guys thought of this episode in the comments. And until tomorrow, eviction night. Much, Much love. love.